there's definitely a big need in the College of Engineering for a new building. We are one of the fastest growing schools, if not the fastest growing college here on, at CSU. Engineering 2 is a unique facility. It's unique for several reasons, both what will be inside the facility, but also how we created it. There were several different individuals who helped us get started. The first was Don and Susie Law, and they contributed a gift that allowed us to begin the architectural design. It was the students of CSU as a whole that voted to increase their student facility fee. And from those fees, they gave us $30 million to begin the project. To get the student fees that were required for the new engineering building, we had to go through a three-phase process. And this proposal actually first came to us from President Tony Frank. We initially actually requested a $10 increase per credit. The University Facility Fee Advisory Board then decided to minimize that fee increase to $5. Before it even went to the Board of Governors, we had to present it in front of the Student Senate, and we had to make sure that it had student approval, which it went through, and that was quite a process. We kind of presented our, our side of it, and how it would benefit not just the College of Engineering, but the entire campus. If we have nice facilities, if we have the space, if we have a nice engineering school and building, I think more people will be attracted to it, and I think that'll make the university as a whole stronger. But it was the gift from Walter Scott that really pushed it into the $69 million range, the full 122,000 square foot facility. The new engineering building is going to be truly an interdisciplinary building which brings faculty, students and researchers all across the College of Engineering under one roof. Engineering 2 will enable us to bring researchers together and it's going to enable us to sort of take an interdisciplinary approach that up until now we've been doing but not as well because we've been so separated. In the same way that we collaborated with many different individuals and groups to construct the building, what will be in the building is really unique as well. This building is going to bring a lot of new facilities uh, and it would add to the existing strengths that we have here at CSU. We selected four different groups of faculty and students to occupy Engineering 2. Those groups are biomedical engineering, bioanalytic devices, they include environmental engineering, and they include synthetic and systems biology. You know, once this building is ready, we'll be truly at the top of doing biomedical research or bioengineering research here in Colorado. I think we're going to see the students that we educate in engineering and biomedical engineering uh, over the next decade be leaders and uh, a facility like Engineering 2 is going to make a big difference in the education of those students. We have a wonderful program here in engineering led by our Dean, Dr. Sandra Woods, and we are producing some of the most talented young scientists and engineers in the state up here in Fort Collins. We want to be able to continue to do that, we want to do it well, and we know that needs new facilities like our Engineering 2 building. I supported this project because I'm confident in its capabilities to benefit the campus and the overall community. I supported this project because I love engineering and I love Colorado State University. Engineering 2 isn't just a part of my history as a student, but it's going to be a great important part of the history of Colorado State University for many years to come. I support this project because it will increase the value of an engineering degree from Colorado State University. I supported this project because of the growth that it will allow our departments and our college to have both through the student body as well as the research and knowledge that's coming out of the school. 